Welcome friends the good news is ICF will restart production of Vande Bharat trains and will produce 44 train sets each with 16 coaches in the next 3 years The tender floated by ICF was opened on 10th July and there are 6 contenders including an Indo China joint venture Now let us see the bidders and their background for this tender to supply of three phase propulsion equipment with passenger and operator related peripheral items suitable for maximum service speed of 160 km per hour this tender was floated on december 22nd last year by the integral coach factory chennai and was opened on friday the july 10th 2020 there are six contenders for this tender including an indo china joint venture crrc pioneer electric india private limited major international players like bombardier alstom siemens cap talgo and mitsubishi did not participate in the bids the six bidders are crrc pioneer electric india private limited bharat heavy electricals a major public sector unit hyderabad based meda group which supply the all the traction stuff for the first two vande bharat electrowaves electronic private limited bharat industry sangru in punjab and mumbai based powernetics equipments private limited it is interesting to note that other than crrc pioneer the rest of the five vendors seems to be suppliers to indian railways in some capacity or the other Now let us see in some detail about the capabilities of the bidders. CRRC Pioneer is a joint venture with CRRC Corporation of China. Headquartered in Beijing, CRRC Corporation Limited has 46 wholly owned and majority owned subsidiaries and over 180,000 employees. CRRC is the world's largest supplier of rail transit equipment, high speed train set with most complete product line. and leading technologies it is the main business cover r&d design and manufacture of train set it is 266th on the fortune 500 global list bhcl needs no introduction navaratna psu and its equipment contributes to about 60% of all power generation in india it is transportation division is a major supplier of equipment to railways in the form of electric traction and equipment traction motors for electric and diesel electric locomotives manufactured at chitranjan locomotives work and diesel locomotive at varanasi dmu train sets traction transformers and hog transformers for wap7 etc it had designed and supplied the dual current electric loco wcam2 wcam3 for central railway and the tiger face library WAG7 and now the WAG9 locomotives strong contender for this tender Hyderabad based Meda Servo Drives is privately owned company and is fully integrated supplier of traction propulsion rolling stock and signaling system for railways it had supplied all the three phase traction and propulsion systems for the first two Vande Bharat or train 18s and is currently supplying traction systems for the three phase EMUs and transformers of the ox system to be used in wap7 it is also a very strong contender electrowave electronics private limited was founded in 1999 for the manufacture of standalone ups system and domestic inverters at paravanu in the state of himachal pradesh it now manufactures power converters for railway industry electrical panels railway fans and led lighting and rail applications small company and probably would have bid for specific items on which they have capability powernetics equipment private limited from its inception in 1970 focused on the design of supply of high integrity power supply equipment to meet railway industry and need the current products are rail power ups systems track side battery chargers and static converters it's a small company and would have again bid for specific item on which they have capabilities bharat industries is a manufacturer of railway coach component like lower springs brakes etc and is based out of punjab 
From the list of bidders, we have to see how the Ministry of Railways would handle the bid from the CRRC giant venture in line with the current development on China. BHL and Meda stand out to be very strong contenders and certainly have demonstrated themselves with the Indian Railways. The other three companies are relatively small with limited capabilities in specific areas and certainly don't have any demonstrated capability in the main area of propulsion systems for these high-speed trains. Regarding lack of participation from international majors, here is the logic or the reason. The tender floated by ICF is for supply of propulsion systems and other electric components and not for complete train sets. The major players make their money on complete products designed and manufactured by them. So, why would they want to encourage India or make an India initiative if they are going to be just component suppliers? No logic in that. That would have they would have loved a JV or a transfer of technology kind of arrangement rather than being a component supplier. That's the reason they didn't participate at all. Now coming to the cost of the tender, going by the cost of manufacturing of the first 18 train set which was launched last year at an expense of nearly 100 crore, out of which actually rupees 35 crore was for the propulsion system alone. So the present tender for 44 such kits of propulsion system and other accessories would be worth 1,500 crores in all, which is about 200 million US dollars. Now coming to the question of who will get the tender and what could be the criteria. Just a thought, it is quite possible that both BHEL and MEDA would be shortlisted and the other and the order split between the two with the rest of the three bidders supplying some items like lighting, air conditioning, battery backup, wheel brakes etc. to the actual manufacturers that could be both either ICF or any other unit that will produce in the future. Considering that train sets would be the future of intercity travel overnight journeys, railways would want more than one manufacturers and at a later stage they would most likely rope in the rail coach factory at Kapurthala and the modern coach factory at Raibarili just like what they did with the LHP coaches with ICF also producing these LHP coaches now in addition to the Kapurthala factory. This is a victory not only for ICF but also for the Make in India initiative and this one is the biggest of all initiatives. Jai Hind, thank you very much for watching this compilation. I hope you liked it. Please share your comments in the comments column and this video is chapterized so that you can watch specific session repeatedly. Thank you. Have a great day. Stay safe during these coronavirus days. Bye-bye.